part of town that became aquatic gardens is lower than most of the other parts of town. Being low comes with one big hazard, flooding. Keeping water out of folks' homes when hurricanes hit has become a top priority for the Atlantic Beach City Commission. I think we're all being plagued by the same things. We have very flat terrain, and so when things drain, they drain slow. To speed the process up, the commission just applied for some money from FEMA to do a few things in aquatic gardens. Number one, dredge the main pond so it can hold more water and add a pumping station so it can be pumped down before a major storm. Number two, add a wider culvert to help Hopkins Creek drain a little better to keep aquatic drive from flooding. And number three, widen the ditch between Cutlass Drive and Plaza. The pond feeds into Hopkins Creek, which funnels a 340-acre drainage basin, impacting hundreds of homeowners. The city commission initially discussed adding a new outfall into the Intracoastal, but Commissioner Candace Kelly says that's not going to work. By 2030, uh, the state has mandated that we will no longer be able to uh, discharge water into the intercoastal. Meeting that new standard will take a lot of work over the next decade or so. For now, the focus is on getting the FEMA grant approved by the end of the year so work can begin in aquatic gardens and folks won't have to hold their breath when a big storm is brewing. In Atlantic Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.